What is going on guys? Grave here. Of course, today is Tuesday, so we got our weekly update for Red Dead Online. Nothing too impressive this week. I will link this newswire down in the description below if you would like to read over it for yourself. Uh, this week, we do have some offers for the Moonshine and Naturalist role. Uh, bootleggers in Red Dead Online will earn double RDO cash and XP payouts on all Moonshine stories and bootleg missions, as well as 50% discount on the cost of relocating your Moonshine shack. Meanwhile, all naturalist free roam events are rewarding, uh, X are awarding, excuse me, double roll XP and paying back double RDO cash as well. Double rewards on all showdown modes and races. So that's going to give you double XP and gold in races and showdown modes. Anyone who plays Red Dead Online this week will receive 3,000 club XP, five potent health cures to help them along kind of in their travels. Also, it says players who own the Outlaw Pass 4 will receive rewards good for a free t-shirt and hat, both below rank 15, and a free vest with no rank restriction. Meanwhile, anyone who has already passed club rank 50 will receive an offer of 40% off a non-roll pamphlet of their choice. When it comes to the Wheeler, Rawson & Co. catalog this week, 40% off all coats, 40% off all gun belts and offhand holsters, 30% uh, off all pistols and 30% off multi horses. The only other thing they talked about this week is if you have your uh, social club account and your prime gaming account linked together, uh, in addition to the other things they've been giving out uh, before February 15th, you'll receive offers of half off the Lamat revolver and a poncho of your choice and offer for a free offhand holster plus a hundred rounds of each high velocity and explosive revolver cartridge types. Anyway, guys, like I said, kind of just kind of like the same old, same old we've been getting for the last several months to a year. Nothing really impressive. And once again, no news about any big updates. I'm not sure if we're really going to get anything. I'm kind of wondering what's going to go on with the game over the, you know, over the rest of the year in 2021, considering we know we're going to have the kind of rebooted GTA, uh, GTA five version for new gen consoles. And also a lot of leaks about GTA six right now. So, Going to kind of have to keep waiting waiting and seeing kind of what Rockstar does with the game. But I'm not really going to hold my breath on too much coming this year, honestly. Uh, but anyway, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. And if you liked it, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click the bell icon in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. And be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliate here on the channel, GT Racing. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.